Good morning, everybody, and welcome to 2020, the very first vlog of 2020. And you're on my new vlogging camera now, which is pretty cool. Um, if you didn't see my last video, I'll put a link in the cards above just because it's got a lot of explaining about what happened last year, why it's taken us so long to get back online, and what you can expect from us in 2020. Yeah, it should be a good time. Today, I thought I would vlog my week with you, some of the cool fun bits, obviously the highlight reel, nothing too boring because I don't know. I'm not a very good vlogger just yet, so I'm just gonna try and hone in those skills, or at least get any, because <laughs> I feel like vlogging is kind of hard. But now I have the right camera, which is gonna make it a little easier, so I thought I would bring you along as many adventures as I possibly can. So, today we are going to start off. I'm going to head into the shower because I've just made the bed. The kids are downstairs having their baby Chino with their dad i.e. fabulous and then I'm just going to jump in the shower and do my makeup with you before I go to my hair appointment so that'll be fun so I know I mentioned in my last video that I was going to get a haircut you're gonna have to excuse Ooh, right there you're gonna have to excuse the mess in this house because still working out the brightness level that's better so I'm just gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do with this bathroom because it is a little bit of a mess. So I was gonna go through my drawers with you this week and clean out some stuff with you. I've just got so much stuff in these drawers and it's like ridiculous. We're gonna go through that together and we're gonna put them in these Ikea containers that I found, which are pretty good. I've already put one in that actually fits too for this one. So I know that fits perfectly, so we'll go through them later. But for now, I'm gonna jump in the shower, quickly wash my face, so then I can get ready for the day. So obviously I need to clean my mirrors, which I've just discovered, but I'm gonna leave my hair out today and just let the girls work their magic. So I'm, I think I'm gonna get about that much. So it's gonna be really short, especially compared to what I've already got now. So it's kind of like under the bust there, and I just wanna have it just above there, so like the t-shirt line kind of. The girls at Stefan can do my eyebrows, so they'll just tint my eyebrows and my lashes as well. So I'm just gonna go and get that done so I haven't put any makeup on, but I've only just put just these two by Terry. These are so good, by the way. If you've never used these two, Brightening CC Serum and the Moisturizing CC Cream, they're a really good combo together. Cleaning out this is on my agenda this week. So overcrowded and messy, and I reckon I've actually already done quite a few cleanouts of this <laughs> so far as well, so I mean, wish me luck on this department because this is just getting out of control. Who needs this many beauty products, honestly? So I've done a lot of hair chopping already. So short. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Does it sound like fun? You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. Outside. What do you think? Hang on, let me turn the aircon on. It's so hot in here. Okay, it's really hot. I'm gonna move you up here. More aircon. Wow, it's 33 and a half degrees outside. That is hot. Meanwhile, there goes my hair. What do you think? Where's this air conditioning? Oh my god, it's so hot. We cut so much of it off. We cut so much of it off. It's like all over the floor. Oh, so scary. Well, I feel really free now. I have no more hair left. It's gone. All gone. Sorry if my air con's really loud. It's really hot. 35 and a half now. 35 and a half degrees. Ladies and gentlemen, that is hot. I was in there for about four hours. The haircut itself actually took about an hour because we cut it before we put the color in. By doing that, you obviously waste less, waste less color and you need to use less color. But it also gives you kind of an idea of what you are gonna look like without it. So I kind of had my hair chopped and it was obviously a lot longer because it wasn't curled. Eee, it's so scary. I'm still not used to it. I think it's gonna take me a long time. But then when I was colored, like when I was looking through all of the options for the actual style of the, the cut. I knew what I wanted it to look like when it's curled. Obviously it's gonna look beautiful when it's curled, but when it's straight, my hair just goes dead straight 
and then I know from previous times I've had my hair cut if I have layers that are too close to each other like quite short layers then the bottoms of my hair kind of flicks out so I'm hoping it doesn't do that and if it does it's fine I'll just get more layers put in it but a little more depth of the layers but I've got about this much between like the top part of my hair length to the less part. I'll tell you what's super easy about this camera is that because it's so small I can actually put it in a lot of places so I can add it to the dash of my car and not have to worry about it falling off because the last one did because it was so heavy. Whoops. I also don't have the viewfinder on when I'm driving so that I don't have to look at myself so I can't be tempted. It's kind of weird to have the viewfinder because it's really, really handy to see what's going on on the screen but it's also kind of off-putting because you look at it all the time. But yeah, so today I went and had my hair done. As you know, I chopped it all off. I feel like a lighter human being now. I can do things and function with my life. I don't understand how I got to that point of where I felt trapped with my own hair. Like I couldn't do things. I would never curl it or do it enough because it just took so long. And it took the fun and the excitement out of having nice long hair because it, it takes a lot to do it all the time and wash it all the time and keep it clean and nice and healthy. And so me now being able to take it like no length it's so easy. It's so easy now. So just um, curled it with the conical styler, which is kind of the one that goes into like a point, like an arrow. Um, and that works really nicely. So I have one of those at home. I think I have like three of them actually. Because <laughs> we really need three. Kenny wants to sit, does she? Okay, you can sit with mommy. Hi! Sit on the chair by yourself. Okay. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. What do you want? Do you want to sit on the chair by yourself? You want to spin it. Do you want mommy to sit in the chair and spin it? Cool. Well, that sounds fun. Can you sit down, please? Do you want to sit with mommy? Okay. Pardon? You want mommy to push you? It's not a, it's not a toy. No, I don't, I don't push each other on the chairs we spin. Mommy. Cute, but you got the devil in you. How about I push you over here and you go away? There you go. See ya. Bye bye. Can you go push Kenny Carter? No, I can't. Why well, can't Carter push you? chair by yourself? Kenny man. Kenny man. Kenny spin? Do you want mommy to spin you? No, Kenny. <laughs> okay. Alright, we'll push off the wall. Spin on the wall. Here, hold on to this and spin. Ready? Okay, ready? Spin. <gasps> you gotta let go. Whoa! There you go. Wow. Okay, that was intense. Hmm, what the hell? Mommy. You want to see what's inside this box? Hmm? Me too. Butterfly. Butterfly. I think that's just a bow, actually. But that's all right. Let's see. Let's see what's inside this box. Mommy. Whoa. Solar powered glow globe. Glow globe. Yep. Is that right? Yeah. Is that right? Butterfly. Butterfly? It's not a butterfly, you goose. Look. You blow it up. It sits in the pool and it lights up. Ready? Mummy blow it up.
Yeah. What? Hello, Darren Gilbert. Hey. How are you? Good. What's going on? <laughs> Life is a winding road. No telling where. Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, Kenny, you can't hold the scissors. No, 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 no. Can you take this to Daddy, please? Yes, thank you. Carter, can you take this to Daddy, please? So here you go. So here, Daddy, for the rubbish. Sorry, Darren. Sorry, you were saying concreter. Figure out where the road goes. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. Do you want to cuddle from mummy? Yeah. Are you going to be a good boy? Mummy will give you, mummy will give you a cuddle if you've been a good boy. Jumping from cliffs so high. Cuddle. Trust in our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground. So the kids have just gone across the road to bring dad's car in because they love daddy's car and will do anything that they possibly can to be in daddy's car. Uh, I thought I would unbox this delivery with you. This one's from Mecca. Um, I've been looking online for some candles and, oh, that's a bad cut. Oh, I'm, da I'm bad at this. This is going well so far. Hmm. What a free gift purchase. There you go. It is the Too Faced Melted Matte. What color is it? Queen Bee. <laughs> Suits me. I opted for the sustainable packaging because I'm not really into the whole, like, let's just get everything because it's beautiful. Yeah, I love stuff because it's beautiful, but it's also a waste for the environment. Yep. This is a ridiculous amount of packaging. I've ordered the Bayes car diffuser, so I'm actually really excited to use this one. I've never had a car diffuser before because my car is pretty clean and it smells really nice. I also bought a candle, the same scent, it's the Bayes scent candle. So I don't know whether I showed you, but I've got the, I got the carousel for Christmas. I felt really stupid because I bought the Diptyque carousel, which they bring out every year. And you put it on top of your candle and as the candle burns, the carousel spins. It's really pretty. So I'll show you that in a second. And then I got, get this out of the way. These two, so one is a candle cutter and one is a candle snuffer. So it snuffs the candle out, which I think is really pretty. I've been looking online for a lot of these and I can't really find any that I liked. And these are the only ones. So I feel like they're a little bit overpriced for what they are. I really like these candle cutters as well. So you can like wick, cut the wick with top of these. Good ergonomic flow. So just before the kids get back, I'll show you this one. So I'll put a link in the description box below as well. So if you'd like to look at these, you can have a look. There's, the base smell is just really sweet and really nice. Perfect candle for the home. And it's really nice when you've got guests over and you can burn it. It scents the whole house. So that's the carousel. It's pretty. rubbish bin for mommy? Mm. Kenny, can you put this in the recycling please? You put that in the recycling? Carter, can you put yours in the recycling please? Thank you. Good job, Goose. My life is great, but I can't do much with my kids because my kids are crazy. Not really, they're actually really good kids, but it's just a lot. And that's probably why I don't vlog that much, so. Parents who vlog are crazy, to be honest, because I don't know how you put kids in your vlog and stay sane. So a lot. Here comes one. Mom. Yeah. Hello. Here you go. 
and mommy. Oh, what a good girl. You know mommy needs a wine. You pass it to mommy. Good girl, don't spill it. Good girl. Cheers, Kenny. Ooh, cheers, Dolly. Mom? Yeah. Oh, no more. All done. Say bye. Bye. Good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday, and I've just dropped the kids at kindy, which is awesome because it means I actually get things done today work-wise. So what I wanted to do for the first week back this year is just plan, plan the whole year. Um, I'd like to plan out some content of what I'd like to make and when, you know, like little events like birthdays, engagement parties, um, kids parties, and then that seems like a lot of parties. Why can't I get this hair out of my mouth? Um, and then also do like blog posts about those times, really get my newsletter started and those things to really get life organized. One thing I've learned about me though, if I don't have like my surroundings in order, then I really struggle to actually get the rest of my world organized. And it's really quite frustrating because, you know, if I don't have everything in a place and like organized and stuff, it's, I feel like my life is chaos. And so I need to organize my wardrobe. I need to go through my entire wardrobe and clean all of that out, all the stuff that I don't wear. I've got a lot of stuff that I moved here like four years ago with, big jumpers, bulky coats, long pants, boots even, that I don't really wear anymore because the weather is really hot here. For example, the weather forecast in Queensland for the next week is basically as one or two degrees of variant every day, high of 30, low of 22. It's just hot all the time. So I don't really need big jackets, certainly not in summer, but even in winter, it might be like a low of 15 and high of 21. I don't need a big bulky coat for that. I'm gonna organize all that today. I've got to put this beauty in my car so i might organize that now get it out of the way and then i've got to send a few emails organize my newsletter redo my website just get all my ducks in a row you know so this is really nice actually this time of year when fabian's got a bit of time off to help me out he has gone to the doctors today to get his medical he'll be back later this afternoon so let's get cracking So we'll go and put this in my car. So we actually have a few things going on here today. We're actually building a fence out the front of our house and concreting at the side. So at the moment we have a lot of palm trees and stuff that are on, on the side of the house, at the front of the house. And then we've also got some, uh, well, we had some bamboo down the side. We've actually gotten rid of it all. Fabian pulled it out and cut it all down. He got a new Raptor Ute from Metro Ford. So he's been quite the handyman these holidays. We've been taking him. Hello, doggies. Hello, Bronte. Hello, pee pee. This is Bronte. Say hi, Bronte. Hi. She's Mr. P. Hi, P. Hi, I'm Pee Pee. We were getting rid of the palms out of the front and everything's going well. I've been putting them on Facebook Marketplace, actually, which has been super handy because people are really keen to buy that stuff. And the problem is, this person who's really keen on buying it has put a deposit down and taken one tree and now I'm still left with the rest of them. So I've got to go put the rest of them up now because they said that they didn't want the rest of them. So now I'm going to take you upstairs. I'm going to go through some of my cupboard and get rid of some of these winter clothes. <laughs> This is really embarrassing. I'm really sorry for what your little eyeballs are gonna see. <sighs> this is my closet and it's a mess. It's really embarrassing because all I've ever wanted in my whole life is to have a nice wardrobe. Now I have finally have one and it looks like this. It's a disaster. So I need to go through it all and do a huge, huge clean out. See? Utter mess. So yeah, I have a few things to get rid of. Let's go. <laughs> These are all the clothes that are going to charities. Now I'm going to start on the beauty. Righto, 
so I've finished all my drawers, organized these. I'll still have to put these ones in containers. I just got these containers actually from Ikea. They're pretty handy. I need to organize these ones a little more because I have a makeup cupboard that I'm gonna put all of this stuff in, but for now, it will do. Then in here, my micro, um, stuff for my microdermal abrasion. Then I've got some face masks here, some tanning products, some shampoo and conditioner. And then this is all my waxing kit and my nail polishes. Probably have too many of those, but that's okay. Then I have all of the electrical cords and stuff. I don't even know why I have this many, but here we are. Lipsticks, I still need to go through these um, to put them in my makeup cupboard. This is my going away bag. I use this whenever I travel, which is obviously not much very more anymore. Then I have my makeup, which Again, need to go through when I sort out my makeup drawer, my other makeup bag, because this is the one I use every day and this is just the stuff that I like to use on occasion as well. So then I've got my Dyson hair dryer, my curling wand, my non-curling curly wand, which like doesn't spin, then my GHD and my GHD straightener as well. Then in this drawer, I've got all my brushes, my dry shampoo, my eyelash curler, which will obviously need to be moved as well. These are really sweet, actually. I got these when twins were born. So these are from the hospital. Twin one, Mackenzie Ray, when they were born. So that used to be around their legs. You can see how it joins up, the two little ones. So cute. I can't believe their little legs are that small. And then I've just got some other stuff in there. And I'm yet to do this cupboard. But now, look at this hair. So short and so dark. Now we're going to go to the tip take a lot of stuff to the rubbish that's gonna be in the new car and also take all of the clothes that we've taken out of our wardrobe as well to Vinny's, something like that. We just donated that whole table worth of goods. Go us. Ooh, did you just hit the gutter? Mate, it's a tight little gap. We just went right up the gutter. Good driver. Got a four-wheel drive, mate. Good driver. Raptor. You Raptor can go life. anywhere when you have a four-wheel drive, apparently. We've done probably about 10 bags of clothing and goods to donate today. So we've done that. We have cut down some give of the- blood, Give them blood, oh, yeah, blood. Give them blood. I've already, I've already told them that you've oh. gone and done your medical. Oh, well, give them blood. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Been a big day. Didn't give blood. Went and had his medical. All done. You'll be fine. Well, now we're going to Bunnings. We've also been to the tip. So we're getting um, some fences put in our house and in order to do that we need to get rid of some of the trees and stuff that's there so we're getting rid of those and they're gone hooray and now we're going to bunnings so we're going to replant everything in the backyard we've got a pool party coming up so we are going to make sure that the gardens look fresh and nice just like you fresh and nice but i'm concentrating right <laughs> please good morning everyone well today is thursday so i missed seeing you yesterday on wednesday we've had so much going on here in the last few days it's actually been quite challenging we've had builders and stuff because we're getting some concrete down the side of our house and we're putting a wall out the front as well with a nice big gate in it so we're just adjusting to having all of that done at the moment and it's just loud and everyone's here at 6 30 in the morning Whew, which makes it a very interesting time because I don't like getting up at 6.30 in the morning. Well, on Tuesday when I left you, we went to the tip to get rid of some trees. The whole back of the car was full of bags, literally the whole back of the car. Um, I think we dropped about 10, 10 or 11 bags um, and some kids' toys and stuff as well. So that was really good. And it was good for a, lawn, um, a wardrobe clean out too. So that's handy. So we picked the kids up from daycare. We redid the garden out the back. What did we do yesterday? Oh, I rode my horse yesterday and Fabian did a few things around the house. He's actually currently right now, I'm just watching him in the backyard, gurneying some rocks. So I got some big boulder rocks for the garden because I wanted it to be a nice little contrast between white, black, green for the garden. And then I needed something a little bit more natural so it wasn't so clinical or sterile. And so he's just gurneying some of the rocks that I got from my um, horse owner's house. So she lives on like 20 acres or something. And yeah, I just found they live on like this big mountain and there's rocks everywhere. So I said, do you mind if I take some rocks or can I buy some rocks off you? She's like, we have so many rocks, have as many as you want. So I think we're going to kind of incorporate a bit of that earthy tone into the garden as well, which will look really nice. So I might show you that when it's done. Uh, and then, yeah, I think I've just got a few more packages. So I ordered a bit of stuff on Amazon the other week. So I'll just show you. And they're all starting to come out now, which is really good. This arrived. I didn't actually know who it had come from. 
and I didn't get it. Normally with Amazon, you get like a, <clears throat> you get like a notification that it's coming today or that it's being sent or delivered or whatever. And so I just looked at my app and it's like, yep, delivered today. That was yesterday. Oh, okay, I must be here. Oh my goodness. That will need to go in the recycling. Okay, there's another box in the box. Well, at least you know it's not gonna break. I did pay a lot of shipping for this. I'm an Amazon Prime member and I've not been an Amazon Prime member ever before and Amazon's been in Australia for a little while now. But I never really use it, and then oh, just hit myself in the face. And then I figured I might as well have a go, and I really like it. It's really easy. Some I accidentally signed up to be an Amazon Prime member, and a lot of things you get free post on. Wasn't one of these, unfortunately, but other things you get free post on. I think this is about thirty or forty dollars in packaging, and now I can see why. All of that just for this. They're so much smaller than what I thought they would be. Crystal bookends. So the two of those. Nice. I'll leave a link uh, in the description box down below for the two purchases that I'll show you today as well um, on Amazon so you can see them if you like. I've just ordered a few books on Amazon as well so when they come I'll be able to put the books into these. They actually look really nice, very smooth. Oh, this one has a bit of a hole in it so you can actually see into the crystal. See that hole down the bottom? I like it. Anyway, so today I'm just going to finish off some emails. I've got a few things that I need to send at the post office. I'm going to go ride uh, my horse this afternoon, Baloo. So she's going to come out and I'm going to go for another ride. I think I've got a group lesson today, which is kind of takes the pressure off, but it also puts the pressure on at the same time because you just kind of have to do what everybody else is doing. So it's not just all focus on you, if you know what I mean. Like as soon as I have all the focus on me, it's great. But my, my coach is really sensitive to my fitness level, which is very minimal at the moment. So um, she's generous with me, but she also lets me get away with a bit too much, I think. So um, if I ask her to give a bit more of a, Sometimes just how it doesn't happen like that. So yeah, anyway, now I'm gonna get on with some emails and get back to you soon. This is what's been happening outside of my house. So this is my office window and my computer just sits in front of this huge window next door. And then these are my <laughs> builders. That's my concreter. He does a good job. So it's just funny how like I'm just sitting at, in my office just doing my work and then all of a sudden the builders just walk by. I don't even know I'm here because this window's tinted. Huh. Well that is going to be it for today's video. So thank you so much for watching and I've really enjoyed you guys being here. I think you should say hello to my queen. Hello Georgie. You got some fluff on your face. Let me get it. There it goes. Say hi, Bronte. Oh, hello, Pee Pee. Hi, Mr. P. Say thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and like this video if you want more. Thanks, Pee Pee. You're a good help. Appreciate it. Hi, is my elbow tasty? Thanks, guys, for watching. I really appreciate you being here, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye. Say bye, Pee Pee. See you later. Bye.